again, it's me, Kerry, and I'm back for the second tag of the day. But this one is about writing rather than reading, so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. This time I'm going to do the writing habits tag, and this was originally done by To Dream the Impossible Dream. But I found it through words of a reader. I wasn't actually tagged myself, but she said if I wanted to do it I could, so I did. questions and I'm just gonna get cracking now. So here we go. Question number one. Typed or handwritten? I type predominantly. Um, the only time I ever really write my story handwriting wise is when I'm writing in my notebook and that I wouldn't really consider full-on writing. It's scribbles, it's bullet points, it's ideas. I always keep the notebook by my bed just in case I suddenly wake up in the middle of the night or right before I fall asleep and I have that idea that I just need to get down on paper. The second question is cursive or printed? When it comes to my handwriting, I'm printed. I know I learnt cursive back at school but then I started writing in italics a lot of the time and only I could really read my handwriting. And one thing that was pressed into me at university was if we can't read your handwriting then we won't grade your paper. So, <laughs> I was a bit like, time to make sure I have big bubbly handwriting that everyone can read. The next question, number three, is show us your favourite pen. I don't have a favourite pen. Um, I just have a pen. Uh, and as long as it has a hook, I'm happy. Because this is my notebook, and my notebook has a string. I like to hook my pen onto the book, so I don't lose it. So when I have my book, I have my pen. Question number four is where do you like to write? Uh, I actually like to write in the lounge and I tend to do it during the day if I can because there's no one else really in the lounge then with me. Uh, I especially like doing it in the early evening because we tend, especially now we're in winter, because the fire's going and I, I can just sort of snuggle in and type, 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 type. Question number five. Who are your five favourite authors in terms of authorial style? Okay, so I'm going to go with Kelly Armstrong and Janine Frost. Both for very similar reasons. I find that they write brilliant characters, which are mostly really strong female characters, but not too strong that they seem invincible. They still have their cracks, their flaws, their difficulties. I also choose Trudy Canavan, who I mentioned in my previous tag video. Lots of Trudy Canavan books. Um, I really enjoy Trudy Canavan's writing style because she does something that I really want to do in my book, and that is multiple points of view. After that, I've gone with J.K. Rowling and J.R.R. Tolkien, because they were my two favourite authors when I was much younger. I grew up with Harry Potter, but before I grew up with Harry Potter, I read The Hobbit. And The Hobbit was actually the first time I remember wanting to be an author. I, I know being told that I used to say I wanted to be one. <laughs> I don't remember that. Um, but I remember reading The Hobbit and talking to my dad about it and saying, I want to write a book like that someday. I think I was saying my sights a little bit high. <laughs> the next question, number six, what are your three favourite books on writing? First of all, we have... Right, right. Uh, I really like this small book. It's not big, and it's got little comics in it, which make for interesting reading. To write and read comes by nature by Shakespeare, and it says this book is for those who still have to struggle a bit. It's great. It gives you help with punctuation, grammar, and it does it in a very non-condescending and amusing with the little comics. And yes, I know that's upside down. Secondly, I have Write and Sell Your Novel by Marina Oliver. And I really enjoy this one because of its very simple layout. Um, it's all bullet points and easy headings and you can find what you need very easily with the contents page. Finally, uh, I've got this one, which is the Complete Handbook of Novel Writing, which is by quite a lot of people really. 
Uh, and one of the reasons why I really like this one is it's got loads of interviews with famous authors. Question number seven, have you ever competed in NaNoWriMo? Yes, I have. Uh, I did it first last year and I won. Yay! I'm doing it again this year and I'm very close to the 50,000 mark. I've got about 46,000 at the moment. <laughs> Question number eight, have you ever won NaNoWriMo? Kind of already answered this one. Question number nine, have you ever had anything published? Not really. Um, I wrote a couple of things for the Student Union magazine when I was at university. Number 10, what projects are you working on now? I am focusing solely on my novel at the moment. Uh, it's called The Unwitting Thief and I'm hoping that it will be the first of a trilogy called The Dragonkin Trilogy. And if you want to know why it's called The Dragonkin Trilogy, well then you'll just have to read it, won't you? Number 11, what is your soundtrack to writing? I tend to write in silence, but I do use music when silence isn't an option. So when the TV's on and people are chatting and I'm just not really doing very well at blocking them out, uh, I tend to stick my headphones in and listen to instrumental music. Finally, question 12, do you have a writing pump-up song? No, I don't. So that's it for my writing habits. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tag. It is now my turn to tag some other people. Now I have checked their channels and I couldn't find anything quite along these lines and I'm pretty sure they're writers too. <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, so uh, if I'm wrong, sorry. I'm going to tag Enya's Corner, Shree Moore, Helen Jepson and Writing Habits. And if you guys do this video, I would absolutely love to see them, so please leave a link below. Also, if you're watching this and you're a writer, don't hold back on my account. I'm going to tag you as well. And if you do make a video, again, please link it below because I'd love to hear about it. So, nothing left to say apart from please give us a thumbs up, comment, say hi. I don't bite, I promise. And uh, if you'd be so kind, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, bye!